Hi, this is Lissy Rosemont. Thank you for joining us at the Junior League Band Video Blog here in Washington, D.C. in the park. As you can tell, the weather's changed. It's really nice. We had a show last night at the Rock and Roll Hotel. It went really well. We had um, local openers Lightfoot and the David Wax Museum Project out of Boston joining us for the evening. Here's some clips from that. Boys coming through the pines in Ohio. I heard of boys coming through the pines in Ohio. Gary Bela Prince. Another fun part of the last few weeks is that the Wood Brothers came to town and Oliver is um, a friend of mine and a great musician. If you haven't heard of the Wood Brothers yet, you should definitely check them out and go to their website. I'm sure it's just woodbrothers.com or something, but uh, here is a clip from their show because you got to make sure to see them when they're in your neighborhood. When I was a little boy Right now we're also working on a lot of new songs and just rehearsing in general for the new record and I'm just calling studios and getting different price ranges and then talking to engineers who can track it and who can mix it and then after mixing it, um, master it so the whole album sounds cohesive and not one, one song not totally louder than the other. A lot of things with um, sound engineering that I had never even thought about. And then... Um, Finishing off just the bits and pieces of the songs myself before I really... The guys have the basic understanding of what the songs are going to be, but production-wise, do I want to add claps here or do I want to do this there or whatever? But here's some, here's some clips from rehearsals. A love song? One of the things that's been sort of exciting recently is um, 
some interest from New York has been happening, so I've been heading up there talking to... So we're heading to Boston. I'm going to be going up and playing a solo show with a Georgia boy. He's up at Berkeley College of Music. Um, Kyle Tuttle is his name, and he's going to be accompanying me for a solo show with the David Wax Museum Project, who opened for us last night at the Rock and Roll Hotel. That's how a lot of business at this level works: is that you have gig swaps between towns. So they have a great crowd in Boston, and we have a great crowd in D.C. And you give each other exposure by giving each other a spot, and so little trick in the business that I've caught on to. So here's um, Suze from the Dave Wax Museum Project right before she's getting ready to go on stage at the Rock and Roll Hotel. There you go. Hey, I'm Suze from the David Wax Museum. I play the donkey jawbone and the fiddle. Um, and we're traveling from Boston, Massachusetts on the fifth week of our tour. And band just broke down. And your band just broke down. And you got the cutest dress. Let me see. Oh. It's actually designed by Melanie Renee. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know I love this shit, so that's great. Awesome. Okay, we'll be down in a minute to watch it. Coming up this spring, we've got all sorts of great stuff. Um, the Fiddler's Grove Festival, Union Grove, my family's um, festival is coming up in May. So if you don't have any Memorial Day plans, you should join us. Um, it's a really special festival. My great-grandfather and his brother started it. They actually married two sisters. And uh, they, the sisters were also in a band called the Casey Sisters. So it's a really fun part of my family's story. My father's a musician, as a lot of you guys already know, and I grew up playing music with him there, if not listening to his band, <clears throat> excuse me, and some of his band members still play with me now. So I'll be playing there Friday night, Saturday doing a little blues workshop jam, and Sunday doing a gospel set. So that'll be more acoustic, but you, whoever wants to come is welcome to join. It's camping, we'll all be camping out and playing music all night. Um, there's tons of other shows coming up. Just make sure to go to JuniorLeagueBand.com to keep up with the tour dates. Our manager, Ashley Jean Trot, does a great job of um, updating everything as they're coming through. Now that we have a booking agent, it's get, getting kind of busy, team. So um, thanks again for following, and we'll see you down the road. <laughs> Sadie's got a back. Now, Ian, your turn. <laughs> Come on, Ian. Watch, watch, watch out, watch out, no back. Oh my god, watch yeah. out, underwear. <laughs> I was talking to Sadie, but you too. Ian, I've definitely caught some crack on you. It's always, it's always out. It's always out. I'm like Mary and Barry, you know what I'm saying? It's crack. It's 24-7. It's so sweet. Thank you.